Hey, y'all. Good morning. Happy Saturday, y'all. I thought I would uh, come in here and turn on this camera. Yep. And chit chat. Because, y'all, I woke up this morning feeling some kind of way. And I washed my face, got myself together, and I'm gonna put this uh this cream on my face. It's by Ponds. It's a rejuvenous anti-aging cream, y'all. I put it on my face. I ain't got no Pacific way. I put it on there. Put it on my ears. Yep. And then I go to slapping myself. Slap myself in the face. That's how you keep your skin looking young, girl. Keep that blood flow going. Tell all my kids to do that. Smack yourself sometime. <laughs> yeah, baby, especially that forehead. Yep. Whew, I needed that. Yeah, I know you just said she's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get together. <laughs> yeah, but I am in this bathroom because you oh, I've been looking at a lot of YouTube videos, y'all, and um the girls, honey, they places be like on point. They get up and clean up, put everything in order. How do I get that crud on my mirror? Oh, but y'all, I got up this morning feeling some kind of way while well, I laid in the bed. And I was just thinking, man, I mean, on the real. <laughs> I was just thinking about, you know, what's going on over there in Israel and what's going on over in Russia. And how them poor people, Lord, they running for their lives. And, uh, you know, now they got to stay in shelters. And they probably just carrying around a bag of clothes, personal items, you know. And here we is over in the United States. Going to bed. Getting up at ease, fixing our coffee, making our breakfast. You know, some of us going shopping or been shopping already. And study filling up our homes with a bunch of stuff. And so, that breaks my heart. That just breaks my heart to know that there are people on the other side of the globe that don't have nothing, y'all. Don't have nothing. And I brought this to y'all attention before. Uh, how my sister was a very minimalist person. God rest her soul. The Lord called her home in 2017, I believe. And I was just laying there thinking about, look at all that bath and body work I got. Man, you, I didn't buy it. I bought, bought like three bottles up there. This right here is Target. This that mixed bar. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. I ain't got nothing dark over here where you can see it. But it's the mixed bar. It's, uh, it's called Blackberry Tonic. 
hair and body spray. Y'all, it smells good. You spray it on as soon as you walk out the bathroom, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, just like all this stuff, that bath and body work. It got so much alcohol in it, by the time it hit the air, it dried up and it's gone. I think you're supposed to spray it on your clothes, but I don't want to spray this stuff on my clothes. Anyway, y'all. That ain't why I came on here. We got too much stuff. And you know, when we have to move, we have to start packing up stuff. We start throwing away stuff. We throw away half of our cosmetics, y'all, that we done purchased all year and maybe spend good money on it. And y'all, I was thinking about this cabinet up under here. I don't have a lot of stuff up under here, but I got enough. I got body wash, body wash, body wash. I like this native citrus and herb musk. I like this. To me, this smells so good. It's got a masculine smell to it. <laughs> I want the body spray. The body spray is a deodorant. But um, every time I go, I can find this at Walmart, but I can't find it at Target. And I do apologize for the way my voice is, y'all. These sinuses is the pits. But anyway, I want the, uh, the spray. I don't care for the deodorant because I'm a swab girl. I've been using. I've been using swab for a hundred thousand years. <laughs> yes, I've been using this stuff for years, y'all, because I was using secret, and y'all, I was getting them big nodules up under my armpits. What they call them? Boils. I think they call them boils up under my armpits and baby this is sweet pea vibe I use whatever fragrance I can get and this is cheap y'all I think it's less than two dollars but this is all I use and uh I can put this on today take a shower tonight take a shower tomorrow I don't have to reapply it Cause girl ain't got no armpit here. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, I was thinking about I was thinking about this stuff that I have, y'all. And it scares me. It's really scared me because I'm tired of moving. I'm tired of lugging stuff. And Yesterday, I came in here, you know, I bought that big, I bought a new backpack for work. Why, y'all, why? My shoulders hurt. The bag is, it's, it's a good bag, but it's a laptop bag. That's what it is. And uh, it's too heavy. And then I said, I got to downsize. Y'all only took one. And I took two pouches out that bag. I converted all my little makeup into another little round little bag, little pouch. I took my wallet out because my wallet was massive. And I narrowed it down to one of them little card holder things. And I have a, a little, uh, I don't know what you call it rectangle little work bag I put everything in there the bag is still heavy and then I'm thinking like I got a backpack I got a crossbody I'm trying to find ways to keep stuff off my shoulders and I'm trying to find a way to not to carry 
so much heavy stuff. It ain't working. I just carry too much stuff. Yep, it ain't working. So, I get up this, wake up this morning and I'm thinking about stuff. We run to the store and we purchase a lot of stuff. Cosmetics, facial creams, deodorants, body wash. And y'all look, okay, I know. Hold on, let me get. I got a, a container up under my candy. Lord, oh, no. That was some more body wash I didn't know I had. See? Hope don't nothing come crawling out of here. But we gonna throw this thing far as I can get. Now, I thought my daughter, my granddaughter was gonna come stay with me. But she went AWOL on me, y'all. That hurt my heart. Okay. Now, at one time, I was traveling. And I found myself in a compromised position where I couldn't get to the bathroom, y'all. And I know I ain't got no business telling y'all this. And yes, you guessing what happened. Mm -hmm. So I said that never happened to me again. <laughs> so I got these pads. These not incontinent pads. These are sanitary pads. And I'm like, okay, I keep them just in case. One of my, uh, what is that? Okay, we have bugs come out, come out the sink sometime, y'all. And I'm thinking I'm seeing something, but okay. But anyway, I'm laying in the bed thinking, why am I saving sanitary pads? Don't nobody come over here. I told y'all my granddaughter went AWOL, so. And I ain't playing on peeing on myself no more. <laughs> I'm like, I need to get rid of stuff. I really do. I got my clippers so when I'm shaving my head. Yep, I shaved my head, y'all. I purchased these uh, makeup brush drying racks. Do I use them? I bought two of them. Do I use them? I think I've been holding on to these for about a year now. I think I used one, one time. Why? Wow, it's just stuff I need to get rid of. I always look, where is my glue gun? Where is my glue gun? I be tearing up this apartment. I'm like, I know I purchased a glue gun. And look, this is where is it? In a container up under the sink. Y'all. And then I got this. Another Clippers. This is what my sister died running to buy her son. Her 40-year-old son. Anyway. The seal ain't never been broken on it. I'm going to keep this because, you know, I got a ball head. Up my glue gun and I'm like I need to clean this thing out and see what I have there go my alcohol where's my alcohol I know I got some alcohol somewhere stuff in here covered up hiding from you you ain't gonna believe this you ain't gonna believe this is my exfoliating. See, I don't look in this container on the regular. Scissors. I know I had some scissors. Bought some handy wipes. Do I use them? Nope. Oh, went and bought sponges. Okay. Some more liners that I could be using. I do wear liners. 
I'm like, what is this? Oh, sponge. I don't need to be buying nothing. I don't need to be buying nothing now. And look here. <laughs> A hot comb. I ain't got nothing up here to do no hot comb with. Now, if my niece is watching and she need a hot comb, send me a comment, girl, and I'll mail it to you. What else in here? Some dental picks I could be using because I, I floss my teeth every day. All day. After I eat, I'm always digging in my teeth. And look, y'all. Bobby pins. I don't have nothing to hold down. And you know, it's like, just in case, I have a lot of nieces. Do I? Yeah. Got a lot of nieces. I have one to come visit me. Just in case she decides that she come. Auntie, you got any bobby pins? Always saving stuff for other people, but it become clutter to us. And look, body wash. And then all that behind me up there, that got body wash to go with it too. Did I buy it? Nope. My son and his wife, they love uh, bath and body works. And around my birthday and on Christmas, he sent it to me. And I like that. Yeah. Okay, we got gloves in here that we throw in the trash. I'm just cleaning out this container. And y'all, check this out. I don't know if y'all remember me telling y'all. But during the pandemic, when they were doing all that uh, fighting over the toilet paper at Walmart and stuff, and you couldn't get in there to get you no toilet paper, honey, I went on Amazon. I told my son, I said, because, you know, we had just moved into this apartment. And I had got rid of a lot of stuff. And I didn't buy our essentials that we needed. So we came up in here. I think we had like six rolls of tissue. And uh, I told him, I said, hey, and I had bought those. Uh, you no, know, my sister had those cheap face towels. You get from Walmart, you get a bundle for like $3. And we had them face towels. And I told my son, I said, hey, if we can't get no toilet paper, we're going to have to use them towels. And that wash machine going to be on overload, okay? So uh, I went online and I ordered this tissue. And I think it was $20. And it's supposed to be jumbo rolls. Okay, you know how you get them big old jumbo rolls? In the office buildings and in the restaurants, and sometimes you see them in the uh, in the filling station restroom. The big ones, you know, but the 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 toilet paper is like is like yay wide, and it's like that thin. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's what I was ordering, and y'all, this is what they sent me. Can you see that? Can you see that? This ain't no bigger than a box of Kleenex tissues. Yep. This is supposed to be a jumbo. A jumbo. Uh. Uh. What do you call it? Some go. Some yum style. Gum yum style. Chinese style. As you see. Let me see. It don't have no hole in there. And this is a compact jumbo roll of tissue. And I'm like, what the hell? What the hell, man? What the hell? What the hell? I hurried up and put in a complaint about this. Yes, baby. I hurried up and let I called Amazon. And I told him, look at the order. That's not a jumbo roll of tissue. They gave my money back. Gave my money back. Because the original order that I put in, I got that. It came in a big old box. Everything. I got my toilet papers out in the garage. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, baby. I'm going to keep this for emergency purposes. Oh. Yeah, but these pads are... I don't want to put these pads back in this container. I really don't. My purpose for pulling this... See, here it is. My purpose for pulling this out is to clean it out. And I don't need no sanitary pads. These are overnight. These are big. And I'm like, I can take them to work. Make a cute little basket and take them to work and put them in the ladies' bathrooms. Well, in the ladies' bathroom. That's probably what I do. Um, but, you know, sometimes women are a little reluctant about grabbing holes. I ain't lying. If, if, if I was in a situation, I need a, I would grab me one. I don't have no problem with that. As long as they are, uh, you know, they still seal. Yeah, they still seal. I grab me one if I need one. I wouldn't be shamed. But, you know, some women carry their stuff to work. Yeah, somebody might take them and, you know, they might take all of them. I might take them to work and put them in the ladies' bathroom. Put them like in a, make like a little tissue box. Or something and put them in there but I keep this for when I'm traveling when I'm only going somewhere for about a week or two this will last me about about two weeks because you don't have to use a lot of it it's from Avon and then I refill them I keep them and I refill them because you can only take so much on your on your trips Yep, so I'm going to hang that on there and put my clippers back on my bald head and my bobby pins and my glue gun. Put that back. I know where it's at now. We got too much stuff, y'all. And I need to take y'all in the closet. Hey, I purchased this. I think it works. I paid $20 for this. I bought my son some, and he said he think it works too. So I'm not telling you to go out and buy that. I have candy wipes. Yeah, I need to throw this in the garbage. Yep. I think that's it. My uh, clippers and my... I did clean it out, y'all. I ain't putting them pads back in there. Nope. I'm going to put my body wash back in there, though. Yep, put that body wash back in there. And uh, put my alcohol behind me. I got a container. We got too much stuff. Just think about it. Just think about it. God forbid, if we was in that situation... Uh, that the people of Israel going through, y'all, we ain't nobody gonna try to carry all this stuff. Like right behind you, I got a transparent drawer with my little earrings and jewelry and stuff on. We ain't going nowhere with this stuff. And I'm like, I know we see a lot of stuff, stuff when we go to the store. And we're like, oh, that's so cute, girl. Oh, that's so beautiful. Our clothes and everything. Let me pick this up. Oh, now you're going to fall back out. Our clothes, our shoes, y'all. Everything. Hold on. Let me 
take you in the closet. <laughs>